Hey guys, welcome to my devotion page. Um, today we're going to talk about burying the hatchet. Now, Christ's peace is perfect and permanent. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 says, He will be called Prince of Peace. The story is told of an embattled man who compiled, I'm sorry, who complied literally with the adage to bury the hatchet. He said he was willing to stop the hostility, but he let the handle of the buried hatchet stick out of the ground so he could readily find it if needed. Jeremiah knew of prophets and priests alike who failed to resolve people's conflicts, who dressed the wound of thy people as though it were not serious. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace, Jeremiah 6.14. At best, they settled for a truce or an armistice. They encouraged people to bury their hatchets, but allowed them to let the handles protrude. In prophesying the coming of the Prince of Peace, Isaiah spoke of God's true peace with mankind through the mediating Messiah. He described the sinner's war with God in very graphic terms, referring to the warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood, Isaiah 6, 5. But these war items, wrote Isaiah, will be destined for burning and will be fuel for the fire. How can we be sure of the permanence of Christ's peace? The prophet continued with this proof. For us, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given. Isaiah 9.6 This could make a perfect and permanent peace with God through the reconciliation he effected as the Lamb of God sacrificed for our sins. Now the church's spokesman can comfort, comfort God's people by proclaiming to them that their warfare is accomplished, their iniquity is pardoned. As God in Christ forgives us, so we forgive others. We do more than bury the hatchet with the handle sticking out. We forgive really and truly from the heart. We live in peace with all people. And as I've quoted that scripture before, if at all peace possible, live at peace with all men. Prayer suggestion. Thank the Savior, the Prince of Peace, for carrying out his ministry of reconciliation and granting you peace. There you go, guys. Have a great day, and don't forget to bury the hatchet. Bye-bye.